Hi, it's Dr. Long, and let's talk about low vision care for the patient with presumed ocular histoplasmosis syndrome. It's a condition we see quite a bit here in the Midwest. I want you to know, and I want you to see how we're able to help some patients who have histoplasmosis to continue driving and doing the other things that they want to do. So take a look. Thanks. Man, I can see from all the way over here. I can see the front desk. It's crazy. Now you ready for this? Okay. Drop your chin and look through that little telescope. Oh my goodness. Can you see it? Hold on a second, give me a second. I may cry, I may. That's a bioptic. And just for now, I'm gonna oh cover goodness. this eye so it doesn't interfere. How low can you go? <laughs> you have to give me a second. That's okay, take it. This overwhelmed nice young lady has presumed ocular histoplasmosis syndrome. As you can see here, it's primarily endemic to the Ohio and Mississippi River Valley regions. When histoplasmosis affects the eyes, it can affect the macula and lead to a condition creating low vision, much like macular degeneration would. I can see the bottom. Really? Mm -hmm. It's hard with tears in my eyes, but there's an F. Yeah. Oh my goodness, thank you. Oh, you never know how much you miss it. They say you don't you don't realize how much until you don't have it, you mm -hmm. know? So I think we can get you back to driving. Oh yeah, that would be so good. My kids would be so glad. Telescopes can also help with near vision. Whoa. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Long with Midwest Low Vision. And let me know if you have any questions about ocular histoplasmosis or the low vision care that I provide.